Resident Evil. Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica. I've played up to where we last died. Haven't yet gone into the B.O.W. room. We'll do that right now, in fact. Ready? I'm not. I think I'm gonna die to those spiders again. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Okay. I did bring her along. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is overkill for them or not. Uh, but I did bring along the grenade launcher because I don't want to die. I'm saying no, that's not overkill at all. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ha! Ha! Ha, I say. Is there another one? Sounds like it, but with what I can see, I'm not seeing them. All right. Yeah, sure. Some side of, sort of cultivation capsule. What sort of creatures were they raising here? Hmm, maybe the spiders we... Oh, where are you? Are you on the roof? Are we poisoned? We are poisoned. Ooh. I might run out to the... M oh! I'm gonna try and figure out where I'm going. Because it's really hard to tell with this kind of darkness. I'm gonna run out to the moth room, heal my poison quick. I should have brought, the brought that blue herb with me. I'm just hoping that we can hold on just long enough to get there. Come on, Claire. The, the seconds are ticking down. You can do it. I mean, it's right there, but... And I'm too cheap to just heal myself. Okay. No, no! No! God! Damn it. I thought we were looking at the blue herbs, but... That guy was closer than I thought. Yeah, well, it's just... It's just a larva. It's not that big of a deal. Coming off yet? Come on, get off. <laughs> get off. I'm really worried that there's, like, a chance that one of these is actually gonna, like, burrow into Claire and... Oh, that's it. You're dead. So. Alright. It's better luck than we had last time, though. Please tell me they did not respawn. Alright, let's go all the way to the back if we... Oh, no, there's... Is that another capsule that's tipped over or something? Ah! Cu yeah, cultivation capsule. Oh, what's this? Barcode sticker. Okay. Um. No idea what that is. Oh! Is it underneath where I'm walking right now? I must be. I don't see anything up here, so. It's tightly sealed. I don't know what's tightly sealed, but. Yeah, come on. Oh, what's this? Bowgun arrows. Sure, 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 sure. Some sort of sorter. There's a gap. That helps me how. <laughs> what's this? Handgun bullets. Sure, sure. All helpful. Something else here. Yeah, more handgun bullets. Cool. Anything else? Nothing? Nothing? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. <sighs> okay. So... Is there nothing else in here? Because I don't know where else to go. And I thoroughly searched the other the other room where we found the assault rifle. Is there anything I'm missing back here? Cult yeah, cultivation capsule. Uh...
Oh. No, that's just an herb. No, I'm good. Actually, make sure I'm not poisoned. I haven't seen Claire, like, crying out in pain or anything, so... Well, I'm gonna look at this barcode sticker, because I've got no idea what this even is. No, 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 not combined. Uh... It just looks like a barcode sticker. I can tell it's not for a book, because it doesn't start, start with 978. Ho, 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 ho. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe there is something we missed back in the main room. Maybe there's something we missed in the mining room, actually. I didn't go through that quite as thoroughly as I went through the assault rifle room. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I go in here? I can! Okay, cool. Oh, that's... Okay. See a light? Oh, power... Oh, it's for the sorter? Damn it. I was hoping we'd get lights. Uh... Caution, B-O-W. Yeah, well, uh... Well, anti-B.O.W. gas. Maybe we can get more for the grenade launcher. Yeah? No? Uh... Okay. Hmm. Well, let's check out the mining room again, because like I said, I didn't really check that out quite as well as I probably should have. Let's see. No, nothing. And only, uh, the hexag- was it even hexagonal? Maybe it was octagonal. Does it really matter? <laughs> There's only the, uh, the crank thing up here, wasn't there? What is that? Yeah, octagonal. Nothing else up here. Am I missing something? Because it feels like... It feels like there's supposed to be something else in here, isn't there? Oh! Well, there, uh, there you go. I mean, why would give us the key if we can't do anything? Uh... Well, we're alone, it seems, so that's good. Never, never mind. <laughs> Wasn't I the fool? Well... Might as well try out our brand new assault rifle, right? Are they down? No. What? Come on. I don't want to deal with dogs anymore. There we go. Oh, that feels so good. <sighs> How much damage do we take? Oh, we're fine. Oh, that's... Yeah, we didn't use up much of the uh, assault rifle either. This looks more like a power switch bay. Yes. Okay, must activate the the generator first, but we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Oh man. I cannot wait. Oh. So close. I One second. I can't even make out what I'm doing here. And gun bolts, yep. Is there another one on there? No? Oh, there's something. No. We're good for we're good for herbs right now, Claire. I'm gonna go back and uh, collect everything if I can get some some lights on. 
Uh... Oh, I see a blue light. Where are you? Uh, how do... Oh! Not today. You thought you could sneak up on me like that? No longer shall I be... Shall I fall prey to your... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. No longer shall I be the victim here. No longer shall I cower in fear from you dogs. <laughs> it does feel nice to not have to... How do I get to that sw Oh, you just go around. <laughs> there we go. Maybe, uh, maybe this will help out. Aha! Ah. Uh, almost there. Okay, we gotta get the, uh, switchboard up and running. Oh my god, we're so close. So close. I see a blue light. Yes! Restore that electric power. <gasps> oh my god, my relief is palpable. <laughs> oh. It feels so good to finally be able to see a goddamn thing in this Antarctic base. I mean, come on, I understand that it's supposed to have been... I don't even know if it's supposed to have been abandoned, but come on, this was the worst half an hour of the game. Oh my god, I can't, oh my, I, like, even, even on the TV, I had to turn up the brightness, like, all the way up just to see anything. In fact, I'm gonna turn the brightness down a little, because right now, for me, it's a little blinding. I just cranked up the brightness setting on my TV so I could make out the barest of details. Oh, this is great. Ugh. It's beautiful. <gasps> I don't think if I can hold in all this emotion. Oh, and we can start the sorter. Oh, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be the best. It's just gonna be opening, starting thing after thing. Just flip all these switches. Oh yeah, that's, oh, look at that. Oh, it's amazing. There we go. Oh, look. Huh? Oh, okay. Um. Well, I saw it uh, brought back the other B.O.W. box. Maybe uh, just keep sorting it until it comes back. Can I uh, get in a, uh, a cardboard box and maybe be transported to another part of the base? Um, oh, maybe that's what the... Uh, maybe that's what this is for. Yeah, because it says uh, B.O.W. on it. Oh yeah, identification sticker used to sort the loads. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, forgive me, I've never worked in a warehouse like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Alright, so this should this should uh, sort things out, right? <laughs> well, I mean, it's a sorter, so... Yeah, there we go. Cool, I'm figuring things out. Oh man, this is great. Alright, so let's, um... Oh, now we can check out the other, uh... Sorry, I saw that hook hanging from the ceiling. I thought it was moving. I'm like, oh, what's that? Now we can check out the other room and see what's going on. We can check out the, uh, the other sorter platform see what's going on with the gap. Oh, jeez. That's not good. Um... Yes. Uh... It's probably... Actually, I don't even know. Does uh, Claire get hurt by the POW gas? I didn't expect it to get uh, used right away. Well... 
really hoping that her her eyes don't get irritated, because, uh... Okay, we don't need to use it now. Okay, so she's fine? Yeah? Oh, there's a spider. Haha! -ha, okay. Okay, it's leaking anti-BOW gas. Are you, are you, uh, okay. I mean, I know we're not BOWs, but I just want to make sure, because I don't know if it has any adverse side effects for us humans. Alright. Anything else? No? Can't get down there? Just gonna be the spider hanging out. Alright, that's that's cool too. Okay, so we got a gas mask though. That's that's helpful. Um Ooh, you know, would that help us to uh not be killed by the uh the moths? Can you go over Ooh, I can go over here, cool. Oh man, I feel like I'm actually getting things done this time. Oh, that's great. I can't really see that well in here, still, but it's better than I could. So this was just pitch black. Oh. Oh. Oh, good thing we have an empty extinguisher. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe we can refill the extinguisher with the chemicals that are there. Hmm. That's an idea. It's an idea. Don't know if it's an idea that's gonna work or anything, but it is certainly an idea. <laughs> Alright, maybe we can, uh... Oh wait, there was a switch in the, uh, in the save room, wasn't there? Is there anything down here? Anything? No? Okay. Yeah, but there was a switch down here, wasn't there? Um, back in the, uh... Oh my god, they're even worse now that uh, I can actually see them. Oh, god, god damn it, you don't even give me a second. Ah, oh, this is terrible. And we are poisoned. Damn it, I gotta go back now. God damn moths. You are certainly gonna be my least favorite of enemies in this game, aren't you? You're really trying to be, at least. <laughs> uh, they're at least a bit more in- Oh, get off, get off, get off! Ah! Okay. Now I can actually see what's going on. Oh yeah, so, um, while I was playing up- to re playing back up to the point where I started the video, um... I found another document while I was uh, fumbling around in the dark trying to find this, like laying on this uh, this thing right here. And it's a uh, let's see if I can. It's a thing by uh, Alfred, I think. No, not the playing manual. Where is it? Yeah, it was Alexander's memo, confession letter. Who's that by? Oh, yeah, yeah. Alexia, my sister! <laughs> Alexander's memo. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, if I'm gonna keep... keep... going with what I've done this entire... Let's Play, I'm gonna have to do Alex Alexander's voice again. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, give me a minute. My father, Edward, discovered the mother virus in cooperation with Lord Spencer, who was also a nobleman. They studied it for the purpose of military use. Eventually, their study took shape. They named a variation of the mother virus the T-Virus. To camouflage their research, they established Umbre Umbrella Chemical Inc. I majored in biogenetics and have been involved with a top secret project supporting my father's research. However, my research went through a difficult phase. 
and my father died in the middle of the project. We are now at a major disadvantage against other researchers, as there is great competition in the field of T-virus research. I have disgraced the honourable name of the Ashford family that our great ancestor Veronica established. If nothing is done, Umbrella will be taken over by Spencer. I must expedite the project to its fullest without being detected by Spencer. After much thought, I decided to establish a large-scale advanced research facility. It will be located in the transport terminal that I created by using the abandoned mine in the Antarctic. Within the facility, I'll have a room built. It will be similar to the design of my mansion, the legacy of the late Trevor. I will be able to cherish my sweet memories there. For security purposes, this confidential project will be given a code name. It is the name of the beautiful ancestor of the Ashford family, Veronica, whom I wish to revive so badly. Do they say it? Do they say it? Oh, they don't say it. I am confident that the research of my result of my research will be as glorious as her name, and that honor will be restored to the Ashford family once again. Oh, they no didn't actually say Code Veronica. Oh, oh. And I bet in the the was it PS PS2? Or was it place it? No, it was. Uh, I think it was PS2 uh, re re-release. I bet they don't actually say Code Veronica X in that one. Sorry, my voice just went a second. I bet they don't call it Code Veronica X in that one. All right, so we gonna switch. Let's put you on switch. Yeah. Oh, is this the uh, secret facility of which he was speaking? What is that? Oh, hello. I saw you in the opening roll. What the heck is going on here? Take, take the plant pot, I guess. Alexander. You got some weird things going on in here. What the heck? This is like the gimp at the end of uh, Pulp Fiction. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've even got a sword on the wall. We'll just take him out. We'll just, we'll just be Bruce Willis for the rest of the game. Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. <laughs> Can't do a Bruce Willis impression. All right, I'm saving because honestly, we got the power back on. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's such a relief. I know we've been over like twenty odd minutes, so I'm actually gonna call it there. And I'm going to see you guys next time on another episode of Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica. Alright, can we smoke a cigar in celebration of getting the power back on now? It look like they might be pretty good cigars. I mean, look at that cigar box. On the other hand, they might be Cuban. And despite having an embargo on Cuban cigars, not many people know about this because of the embargo on Cuban cigars and all things Cuban. They're actually pretty bad cigars, or so I've been told. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so that's it. See you guys next time. Bye now. <laughs>